everybody, today I have a new haul for you and today's haul is in partnership with American Eagle. Now, funny little story about American Eagle. The first time I ever hauled them was when they launched their new denim for extended sizes, which is up to a size 24. Now, I just did it because I was curious. I wanted to see how the denim fit, tried it out, fell in love. Fast forward a couple months, American Eagle contacts me and says, we've seen your haul and we'd love to work with you for a holiday. So before I even start into the haul, I wanted to call out my t-shirt. I just, I love it and I bought it and it's really, it's just a message I believe in. Diversity is a fact. Inclusivity is a choice. And it's a choice I try to make every day with my projects, the top people I hire and the brands I work with. And I think when you post, you have a choice and I'm trying to make that choice every day. Okay, let's go into the hall. I just did a really bad wave. Let me do it again, that's better. So I asked you guys what types of things you were looking to dress for this winter and holiday season. And I got a lot of responses, a lot of them. Um, some of them were not appropriate to share on the internet. <laughs> some of them I was like, I feel you girl, I'm in the same boat. So I picked some of my favorites. I'm gonna reword them to make them appropriate for the internet. So the first request, and this was literally the most requested look people were looking to create, was looking cute for a holiday party where attractive men will be. Um, you think one person suggested that? No, many, many people were like, listen, it's cuffing season. I need to look cute. I don't wanna look like I'm trying too hard, but I wanna look cute. What do I wear? So I got you, I got you. So this first look is, we're just, we're just gonna start with the sweater. The sweater is this red, cause that's a power color girl off the shoulder sweater and it's really soft and has a little bit of a balloon sleeve and then it's shorter so it's gonna hit you about mid waist now when i first took this out i was like i don't really know right but then i put it on and i was like dang <laughs> whoa girl it's so comfortable and you look so good and magically i don't know how once you get this like collar down it just stays down like I was dancing around and moving around. Now I will say in the beginning, I had to like adjust it and get it there, but it was really, really good at staying there. It was like unusual, cause I've worn off the shoulder before and that is not usually the case. It's made out of 59% cotton, 36% acrylic and 5% polyester. So the cotton is gonna make sure that it is still breathable, but this is such a cute sweater and it's just a low key sweater, nothing big. Now I paired it with a pair of pants that I'm obsessed with. I literally find them so incredibly comfortable and so, so, so daring. Mm, you're gonna get yourself a man in his jeans, for real. Um, they look like from the back, just a standard light wash denim until you get to the front where there is some mad, mad, mad distressing. And you just let those candy juicy thighs be seen by the world. Just like let them out. Let people know that you love your body, that your thickness is a privilege, not a punishment. Mm, they are so cute. I love them. Little okay. Straight up, I might be seeing a little something, something right now, and I might have you know, just texted a picture of me in these jeans because I felt good. I felt so good in them. They are really stretchy, what I like, but the waist itself is pretty reinforced, so they do hold their shape throughout the day. They do have distressing throughout the jean, so if you're not comfortable with your legs being bare, it's probably not the right jean for you. They are made out of 90% cotton, 8% polyester, and 2% elastane. Now they are a little bit on the lighter side, this denim, so they're not gonna be as warm as some of the other pairs we'll look at in this like lookbook slash haul, but I'm gonna tell you, girl, these are some hot jeans. Hot jeans, love them. Now I felt like this look needs some earrings, right? It needs some earrings, it needs a little mm on here. So I got this little set of holiday themed earrings and there is a pair of candy cane hoops that are adorable. I'm obsessed with them, they're so cute. And they also come with like a little wrapping paper bow and some snowflakes, this is like all you need. All your holiday earrings and one little like little placard one little placard of stuff, but these candy cane hoops. <clears throat> girl, girl, they are so cute. They are so cute. So I love this outfit because I feel really comfortable in it. I also feel really attractive and just like, 
I feel like it's me. I'm not trying too hard, I'm not showing too much, but I am definitely showing up and standing out, which is like my favorite thing to do. Come get you some, men's. Come get you some. So the next outfit was inspired by a request that I just related to on a deep personal level. This person was like, listen, I love to go ice skating, but then I get really hot and I can't like get out of all the layers I put on. So how do I dress for a cold activity that I know I'm gonna get hot and eventually I need to take off the layers? I got you, girl. So I started with this tee, and I think these are called the softest tee in a neon green. Now, they really are that soft. <laughs> they feel like a pajama top, and they've got nice little ribbing, so they're gonna be very forgiving on the body. By using a really bright color, I'm drawing attention to wherever this item is. Now, for some of you, you're gonna be bold, and you're gonna wanna wear neon green all by itself. But since we're working on an ice skating look, I was thinking layers. So the first layer I added to this was this leopard print, like ski style jacket. It's very 80s, like I need to go compete in a ski tournament to win my right to slalom down the ski slopes one more time. You know what I'm talking about? And they're like, and they're like fighting against guys named like Biff and Chad, uh, who are gonna like turn this ski slopes into, I don't know, a retirement community. That's what this feels like, but in the most amazing way. So I was like, okay, I wanna play off the pink. This is great, because I can take it off. I can open it all the way, but it's a nice little layer. I can also tie it around my waist if I need, if I get really hot. But what if I get colder? And sometimes, baby, it gets dun 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 dun. Ice, ice, baby. Sometimes it's cold. So, I got myself some earmuffs. I'll be real with you guys. I just really wanted to buy some earmuffs. I've never had a pair of earmuffs and I was like, how is it as a fashion blogger, I have never owned a pair of earmuffs. So I used this as an excuse to get one. I'm obsessed, they're hot pink. So uh, who's, who's the real winner here? This girl. I also got with this, and I cannot find them right now because I do not know where I put them, a pair of gloves. Now these gloves are really cool because you can use your phone while wearing them. And that is why they're in this haul because you know, the most annoying thing ever is when you're outside, it is cold and you cannot swipe up on your phone to check to see if someone has texted you. Because if you're like me, you have like a weird anxiety about not being able to read your text messages. So I appreciate, I appreciate gloves that allow me to like, you know, just keep a little bit of that anxiety at bay and swipe up while I'm skating through life. Last but not least, let's talk about the pants situation. This I paired with the distressed denim, but this has a special little kick to it because it's actually reinforced in the back with other denim. So while you have some exposed holes, not a lot, not enough to make you colder per se, it is gonna reinforce the other distressing with denim. So you get the cool look without having the chill of a more exposed leg like we had in the last pair of denim. These by far are my favorite pair of American Eagle denim that I've tried on. These are super comfortable. They are a pair dream jean. So I'm gonna use this as an excuse to talk about something that I really love about the American Eagle denim. So they jumped into the game with two types of denim. First is your regular cut. This is gonna be great for people that are apple or anyone that's a slight hourglass. Now, if you're a more extreme hourglass or like me, a pair, those jeans are going to be huge in the waist and they're not going to have enough room for the, uh, you know, candy juicy thigh situation that we got going down there. So as a result, they launched the curvy cut. The curvy cut is going to have extra space at the hip and butt. So you're going to be able to buy the size denim you would wear at your waist and have enough space at the butt and thigh to feel comfortable. And I will tell you, these are a game changer for me. They fit so well. And these jeans in particular are my favorites. I love the design, I love the feel, I love that I can like sleep in them and be comfortable, which is rare. Like when you wanna sleep in a pair of jeans, you know they're good. So another request I got a lot was, hey yo, I live in California. We don't have sweater weather. I love the concept of an ugly sweater party, but what do I wear in California? Cause it's hot. And I was like, I got you. I live in Texas. It is also usually hot. Except for right now, it's been like a little chilly the last couple days, which I do not approve of. But yeah, I was like, this is a great suggestion. I'm going to fulfill this wish. So I think the key to holiday dressing is accessories. You start with a strong base, something that's got a little bit of holiday flair to it, but not too much. And then you use accessories to just like, take it over the top. 
So let's start with our base. So I use this ringer tee, and I love this because it's white with a little red, and if you can't see, there's a little bit of a blue detail around the piping edge of the red. It just makes the red pop even more. So this is our base shirt, okay? Then I took a dark wash denim, which I also really love. This is another one of my favorite, favorite pairs. They're really cute because they have this little zipper down at the bottom, which looks so cute with heels. I'm like mad that I didn't get to use these in a heel look, but they're adorable. So I just took a white shirt and tucked it into this denim. Now this denim is a little bit thicker than the last two pairs we've looked at. This is definitely like a, a meatier piece of denim. It's gonna be a little bit warmer, but not too much, just a little bit. All I need is a little bit. It's 91% cotton, 7% polyester, and 2% elastane, so I'm guessing the extra amount of cotton is what makes it a little bit thicker. And we're gonna leave that with the t-shirt. Then comes the fun part. So I will tell you, one of my favorite holiday accessories I've come across, and you know your girl loves a good holiday accessory, is these tinsel suspenders. I don't know what gorgeous human came up with these, but I think we should be friends because these are amazing. They're so fun, they're so easy, they go with anything festive, and they're immediately gonna up your holiday game so high. So when everybody else is sweating their butt off, they got water dripping down their face, you are living cool and free in these sweet tinsel, 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 I cannot say it's right, suspenders. I, I really love these, these are so cool. This is so cool. Sometimes I like to be a little matchy-matchy. So I just got these little wreath earrings that match. They're like little tinsel and they have a little red bow and a little bell. So you make a jingle when you walk. That way everybody knows where you are. And of course, my presence is a gift to everyone. And what do you do with the present? You put a bow on it. So I got these little clips with bows on them to just, you know, showcase the present that I am. I'm gonna leave them in for the rest of the haul because they look amazing. And of course, we are in a warm climate. There is bound to be sun. I threw on some shades. These are just a nice red rim, basic sunglass. They were just for emphasis that we were in hat warm Christmas weather. Oh what? I don't know, there's something about putting on suspenders for me that just makes me feel cooler. So I love this outfit just because of the vibe it gives off. It's a little bit hipstery, but it is also very comfortable for a warmer climate. So the next fan request I selected was one that I just related to, which is what do I wear when I'm going to a holiday girls night? And I was like, well, I wanna be comfortable. And when I wanna be comfortable, I don't wanna wear pants. So for this look, I chose a dress. Now this dress has a very special quality about it in that it feels like, it feels like a blanket, which you know, that's my jam. This thing is so comfortable. In fact, truth be told, this is the last outfit I tried on and I had to literally change out of this dress so I could show you this dress because I just wanted to lay around in it for the rest of the evening. It's so dang soft and it's midi length. So it goes below your knees, you got some cute boots with it, you don't need no leggings, you just feel comfortable. Now, I love that it's in an olive color. They do have it in a gray as well. As far as what this miraculously soft fabric is made of, it is actually composed of acrylic, nylon, and elastane. It is, I don't know, it's so soft. They also have some other sweaters in this um, fabric. I don't have any in this actual lookbook, but check them out because they are equally as comfortable and I'm also in love with them. I have one that's cream with like rainbow stripes. I'll link it down below. It's pretty epic. Now, just to make this a little bit more exciting, a little bit more visually interesting, I like to pair something like an olive, which is almost neutral, right? It's a very, you know, not blah, but you know, neutral gray. I like to pop it up with something bold, something bright. So what is the bold and bright of this season? Neon. So I chose this oversized hot pink scarf and it just has this little bit of pizzazz plus the neon just really brightens up my face so it's a nice warm punch that just makes me look better. 
And that's it. I mean, it just makes me look good. That's why I picked it. So it's a fun little scarf I can throw on. It's also good to like just kind of cuddle up, add some warmth in, and you can also wrap it around yourself, like around your shoulders, to just kind of add like some cuddle ability. Then we had a request that I just picked because I liked it, because it's something that I felt was like very holiday-esque, which is an outfit to go and purchase a Christmas tree with, or a Hanukkah bush, either or. Or if you don't celebrate either, a Festivus pole. Cause you know, I think you get those in the same places. And there's probably other holiday shrubberies that I'm forgetting. But whatever holiday shrubbery you're in the market to procure, this is an outfit you can wear while doing so. So it really just started because I wanted to buy this jacket. <laughs> It really just started because I wanted to buy this jacket. Um, this jacket is, to quote Hilary Duff, hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. You know that your girl loves some faux fur. You also know that I have a dog that appreciates faux fur blankets. Guys, this is a faux fur lined winter coat in a bomber cut, which I love. I'm gonna take a little moment here. I am crying tears of joy. This is everything I've ever wanted in a coat. But wait, wait, no, it gets better. Could it get better? Yes, it gets better because it's also reversible. So you can be a Yeti or you can be a ski bunny, whichever your little heart prefers. And it can be a different choice on a different day. I will tell you, I love this coat so much that I also noticed that there is a leopard print and black version, which I am having serious issues preventing myself from purchasing because this is the softest, most comfortable coat I've ever had. And it's basically because someone has taken one of those really soft blankets that I talk about all the time and literally sewn it inside of a coat. It's genius. It's genius. It's genius. Game changer. So I would wear this while, you know, shopping for a holiday shrubbery. Everything to me. When I close my eyes, it's that coat I see. Sorry, I'm singing a lot now. I'm into it. So that coat has both warm and cool tones. So what I wanted to do is make sure that I just kept this glowing face glowing. So I chose a mustard yellow hoodie. Now these are the best because they are long. They sit for me, if I pull it down, I can like kind of jimmy it under my booty and wear it with leggings. So the best hoodie ever. Or I can let it sit in my waist and it's just kind of a longer line. Now what I love is inside you've got that soft, soft that you love. Like a new sweatshirt with a super soft interior is the best. Soft. As far as what it's made out of, other than cuddly kittens and dreams, it is 60% cotton and 40% polyester. What I love about a lot of the items that I'm pulling in this haul is that they are a high cotton fabric, so they're gonna be more breathable. They're not gonna give you a little bit of that itchy that sometimes you get when fabric heats up in the winter time. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but like where you get like a little hot here and then it rubs and then you got like a weird rash and you're like, what has happened to my body? I just went sledding. With this, I wanted to have a little bit more fun with my denim. I picked a dark wash denim, but in the end, it has this fun finishing right at the bottom. Now, these come up to be a little bit of a crop. I ordered these in tall, so it wasn't as much a crop for me. And bonus, they do have plus sizes in tall, so yeah. This looks really, really cute with a booty because you get to see this little detail, but you're not actually exposing any skin. The top is just a standard, you know, wash. You see some, you know, a little distressing here, a little whiskers. Like this is a thicker, meatier jean. So it's gonna keep you a little bit warmer than some of the other pairs in this haul. Obsessed. What I love is there's not a lot of distressing here except at the bottom, so it's like a little surprise. Also, if you're not comfortable with holes or distressing in your denim, this is a great option to give you a little of that rough and tumble look, but not having to like expose parts of your thighs and calves. Then I got this, cause it's so cute. Cause when I think of a rich woman buying shrubbery, I think of one of these. I know I really do. Like her name's like Allison and she needs a seven foot tree for her home. Allison and her seven foot tree for her home. And she will not accept anything other than a blue spruce because she loves the orange citrus scent it gives off. 
Allison, I channeled you, but I think I looked cuter. What? What I love about fashion is the more you play with things, the more you find things that surprise you or that you didn't think would work that do. And that is what I recommend all of you do is keep having fun. The more you have fun dressing, the better you'll look because you'll enjoy what you're wearing. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about the denim. Now, one of the things I will say that was really special about this haul is every single pair of pants in this haul, I actually was able to try on in the American Eagle store. Yes, American Eagle carries now up to a size 24 directly in their store. So what I would recommend is so you have no clue what size you wear, you can go into their store, try it on, and then if they don't have every style that you want, you can just order it online. Now, I will say that the double XL is not available in tops in store, but it's plain plenty available online and comes pretty quick. Just to keep in mind, typically a XXL is an 1820. At American Eagle, it's a 20, 22, 24. So it is going to be bigger than your typical double XL. So if you are living in that 1820 world, you might wear an XL in American Eagle. Just something to know and check out. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this fan inspired haul slash lookbook with some of my favorite items from American Eagle this holiday season. Links to everything are down below in the description as per usual. For the record, I was wearing a size 24 in every pair of pants and a double XL in every top jacket, dress and other thing. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, give your girl a Christmas gift and click that sub button. If you want to see more of this in your mailbox all the time, click the bell and we'll be notified every time I post. With that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. I'll check you later and peace.